Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about monitor orientation. So some of you may have already noticed from my recent videos that I flipped one of my monitors to a vertical orientation. I did so to see whether that could improve my development productivity. So in this video I'm going to share with you the results of my experiment, the advantages, disadvantages, as well as the things you have to consider before trying this new approach. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. So the general idea is that code tends to develop in length rather than in width. So having a vertical monitor should give you more room to see the code and more efficiency per pixel. But is it always the case? Well, that depends on the code base, because if you use a formatter or a prettifier that limits the length of your lines, then yes, using a vertical monitor will be very convenient because you will not have to scroll vertically as often. On the other hand, if you are not limiting the line widths of the project, using a vertical monitor would be even more inconvenient than using a horizontal one because other than scrolling vertically, you will have to scroll horizontally, which is super inconvenient. So that depends again on the project. So one very important thing to consider before flipping your monitor to a vertical orientation is making sure that it has good viewing angles, which is related on the type of monitor you have. So before diving on the types of monitors and which one you should get, I'm going to show you what happens if you have the wrong one. So I have this old monitor which I used for many years, which is a pretty old Samsung monitor. And one thing which is really interesting about this monitor is that the stand is rotatable, so you could theoretically flip it in a vertical orientation. And so many years ago when I first got it, I flipped it in a vertical orientation and the experience was terrible, was really terrible and I'm going to show you why. So the biggest problem with these monitors is that they have very poor viewing angles. So if you watch them from above and then from below, you get very different colors. But of course, that up to down difference will become a left to right difference once you flip your monitor vertically which means that each of your eyes will see a different color on screen, which makes it very inconvenient. And I'm going to show you an example. So this is what text looked like at different point of views in my old monitor. And as you can see, by changing the point of view, the colors change dramatically. As a reference, I'm going to put next to it my new monitor. And as you can see, in that case, the changing colors is not even comparable. And that really makes a difference when using a vertical monitor. So not all monitors are created equal and there are three main categories you could choose. The first one is IPS, which are a little bit more expensive than the alternatives, but they offer superior color accuracy and viewing angles. The price of some higher response times, which is generally not as good for gaming. On the other hand, we have TN's panels, which are cheaper, they offer very low response times, which is good for gaming, but they tend to offer bad color accuracy and terrible viewing angles, which means that if you flip them vertically, you will have a pretty bad experience. And that was the case with my old Samsung monitor, which is a TN panels. And then finally, we have VAs, which are less popular today, but they tend to be a middle ground between the two previous ones. So in the end, if you want to try a vertical orientation, I recommend you to get an IPS monitor because that's the one that will offer the best viewing angles and the best experience overall. So given that you have a good panel and you want to try the vertical monitor, you will need a way to orient the monitor vertically. So some monitors offer a rotatable stand but most of them don't, especially the cheapest one, like the one I'm using in the background. So you will then need to get some monitor stands. And they are pretty affordable. I paid mine 30 euros, but you can find even cheaper ones. The only thing to consider is that your monitor will need a visa mount in the back, which is basically just four holes in the back of the monitor to fix the stand and most monitors have them. The only exception are those very thin monitors which generally don't have them so you will need to get a regular one. So in the end is it worth it or not? Of course that really depends on you on what you're working on but for me the experience wasn't really that good as I thought it could be probably because I'm used to the regular horizontal orientation and most of my workflow is built around that orientation. 
but really most of my projects uh, don't benefit that much from a vertical monitor. But the good thing is that thanks to those stands I can really rotate to whatever orientation I want uh, really easily. So if one day I need a horizontal orientation I can do so in just 30 seconds. Alright so that was all for this video I really hope you liked it. If you did please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel because it really helps and I hope to see you in the next one.